Hello guys, welcome back. This is the second part of the lecture and uh, as I said before, it is about uh, IOTA and we will uh, play a little bit with IOTA. Okay, but first, um, let's recover brief why IOTA is a suitable solution for IoT. Uh, let's take, for example, the last transaction that we, uh, no, the, the address uh, uh, that we used before for um, uh, sending our uh, transactions. This was the consumer uh, address. And uh, as you may know, it is for each, um, uh, uh, the, 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 the problem with, with, uh, with using a, a classic uh, blockchain which is not IOTA, it's that uh, um, you, uh, for each transaction that you are sending to, to the network and and that it's add to a, to a block, you need to pay a fee. So imagine the scenario where um, you are just uh, the sender, for example, this is the publisher, and uh, this is the publisher and uh, he, he just uh, published the information on the blockchain. and. Uh, um, for each packet, he needs to pay a fee. Uh, a fee. Does it make um, hard for uh, for for this publisher to, uh, or cost ex uh, cost expensive for this publisher to to transmit uh, to transmit a lot of, uh, of of data because it will pay a lot of fee, and as uh, as you can imagine, since our devices are creating a lot of, of, of data, this is not a good solution for our, um, for, for uh, I mean, yeah, it, it can work, but it has this big limit, okay, of paying fee for each uh, information that it's published to, to, the, to the chain, okay? And uh, I would say this is the first limit of uh, using a classic blockchain with a proof of work algorithm or um, proof of stake algorithm. Maybe this is the this is the, the a limit for all permissionless blockchain because in permissionless blockchain you won't pay a fee. Okay. And so uh, it um, I don't yeah you can as I said you can work with a permissionless blockchain but. Uh, you need to to, to face the prob this problem of of the fee okay uh, the second uh, thing that i think that uh, might be a limit for for using blockchain instead of iota is it, it's the data structure that uh, we, are, we are dealing with okay here we have a uh, 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 maybe we, we, oh, it's not here maybe um, here we have um, a sequence of blocks, okay, and uh, thus um, it's it's not a scalable solution as it is the the, the IOTA one, uh, which is uh, the 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 tangle, which is the data structure. As I said, uh, we can read here is the data structure behind IOTA, and uh, it's uh, which is a, a direct axis graph which each vertex uh, holds a transaction, okay? And um, why this is um, more, uh, a more scalable solution? Because I, as you can notice from this, 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 this animation, you can add a, a new transaction, these are the new transactions, to different types in the, of different, or different vertex uh, of, the, of the tangle, okay? So you can choose among more, um, more, more, more vertex. Okay, does it make it? It makes the the tangle uh, more inherent, inherent um, more in, uh, makes the tangle inherently a best solution, of, a better solution for IoT. Okay, as you can see here, this is a classic blockchain in the first example, uh, in the first in the animation before, and uh, you need to add the transaction uh, uh, linearly. Okay. Thus, uh, like now, and as it's, uh, it's, it might represent uh, a limitation in terms of scalability, and uh, they so they, they, the the guy the guys from IOTA uh, th thought about the tangle solution uh, mainly for this reason because you can choose uh, among different uh, uh, points a vertex within the DAG for adding a new transaction. Okay. That's why um, 
as I also wrote in in, in this uh, in the readme of our uh, repo, uh, the goal of IOTA is to allow devices on the Internet of Things to transfer data and make payments among the, among each other. Okay, this is uh, taken from the developer handbook. Um, and um, so uh, these are the two main goals that uh, um, IOTA wants to achieve. And uh, in order to transfer data efficiently, we uh, we are not and effectively, we are not both paying fees and we are using a data structure which is uh, inherently more scalable. Okay. And um, anyway, we have a token, as we said, um, as the algos for Algorand, which is a Yota for our case, that allow us to make payments among uh, different uh, accounts within the the, um, the the network. Okay, within the, yeah, you can imagine that you can pay different devices uh, can pay can make trans financial transaction among each other uh, using uh, the tangle. Okay. Uh, we will call the direct cyclic graph of IOTA a tangle, as they call it like this, okay? Okay, uh, what we're going to do in this, um, in this um, part of the lecture, we are going to go through the tutorials for JavaScript of IOTA. And I'm, as before, I suggest you to um, do it uh, by yourself. And um, this is the... If you click on this uh, link, you will go there. And um, I suggest you to first try to do it yourself. And either if you cannot do it or uh, you throw you solve it, we can you can look at the solution that I provide you in the in the red. Okay. Uh, I hope that my Wi-Fi works. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, the first example we're going to see is uh, I'm, I'm not going deeper into IOTA details because I assume you have already uh, saw this with uh, Professor Vitaletti in the previous lecture. That's why I'm directly jumping uh, after a very brief recap and motivations about IOTA to uh, the tutorials. Okay. Okay, we will send our first transactions, uh, transaction with, uh, with IOTA and we will send a, a hello world transaction. Okay, we will use as, as before the uh, JavaScript. Uh, we will use JavaScript, and for using mm, mm, IOTA packages, you should install uh, these two packages mainly, and um, uh, that will we will use. Okay, um, we will connect to a node. Of not the DevNet, but uh, as I said, as I claimed here, uh, we will connect to the ComNet, okay? Which is uh, I don't know why they the the guys from IOTA close this network, and if you go to it, I oh, know this is the documentation. Anyway, um, if you go to if if you go to the DevNet link, uh, you will receive a message that tells you that DevNet uh, is not working anymore, and you have. Uh, to use the comnet, uh, which is uh, the anyway, I don't know why. Uh, um, which is the the reason why we we, we, we are using the comnet, which is uh, the, the it's not the main tangle. So is the as the test net before for Argo and this is the uh, test net for for IOTA. Okay. Okay, and we will, uh, mm, uh, yeah, we need to take care of these arguments, but we will see them later, uh, which are the minimum weight magnitude and the depth. Mm, uh, and essentially, the minimum weight minimum weight magnitude is uh, um, for the common is ten; it is not nine. And um, in the minimum weight uh, magnitude is the, the how hard it's for for a for a for a for a, for a, for a node to compute the uh, it's the difficulty of the proof of work, okay? And um, and for our uh, we will use ten as a minimum weight magnitude, okay? 
okay, we need to uh, okay to to install these packages and then to uh, requ we will require those packages in our file, and we we connect to the API to the nodes and. Um, uh, we will use this command, but uh, as I said you in also in the, um, in the readme, you shouldn't connect to this, like here, okay? But you should connect to um, the connet again, okay? So use the snip snippet here uh, instead of the snippet, okay? Then you have to find the depth and the minimum one, um, weight magnitude. And remember, here it is 10 and it's not 9. Okay. Um, otherwise, it will the, the, the net the network will refuse your your transaction. Then copy this address. We don't care now. And um, when copy this seed, which is the uh, the seed is not used because it's used for for um, for when you use the in this in this example it's not used but essentially from the seed you can you compute the address okay and uh, you actually need the address when you send transactions uh, that have um, that are uh, that are carrying iota tokens and in our case we are sending a zero-value transaction. We are just writing information like we, we were uh, a device, okay? Uh, okay, now we create a JSON message and we stringify this message here, hello world. And uh, mm, then we need to convert this message into trites. Let's see, uh, because uh, IOTA Tangle does not um, store uh, the information as um, in, with bits actually, but they store it with treat. We will see how what this is if you if you now get to the in the um, oh no, this is not here. Uh, essentially, the treats uh, give you the possibility to um, store information with three. Back like here it is three state okay and um, you can uh, essentially um, iota data are represented in a balanced ternary which consists of one zero and minus one okay and these are called the treats and a trite will, uh, will be um, uh, can be composed by 27 different um, values and in this way, you can uh, with uh, with uh, with just these uh, three treats, uh, you can um, show you can represent excuse me uh, twenty seven different values. Does it it's uh, it's um, uh, it saves more space, okay, in uh, for for storing your information. And that's what we did here. We convert our message from ashi into um, into trites uh, okay and we save this message here then we will create this uh, dictionary here okay passing our that our value that is zero for our transaction passing our address that we have before previously defined here and passing to it our message in trites okay then we will call this uh, this, uh, this function pepper transfer, um, and um, and we will send the um, these tr the trites with uh, according to our minimum weight magnitude and our depth, and um, we will send it to the, to the IOTA networks. Okay, and so we we will have send our first transaction. Thus, I mean, then we will print the, the, the hash of the bundle. We will we're gonna see what bundle is in a, a couple of minutes. Uh, anyway, um, I suggest you to go through this tutorial and then um, uh, resume the video to keep seeing it, uh, to keep going on with the lecture, okay? See you later. Hello, this is the, the solution for the um, first exercise, the Hello World transaction. 
and uh, as is before I'm using MQTT for uh, reading messages that are sent by a client uh, and me as a client I'm reading them and uh, uh, I um, forward them to the tangle okay I essentially did, did um, the following and I uh, I connect uh, okay I connect to MQTT and then I will connect to the comnet okay we'll specify this as depth and this is uh, minimum weight magnitude um, then I specify the address the seed uh, and then whenever I receive a message I call this function send to tangle and passing it to this function I will pass the message that I have received uh, and uh, okay this pass the, the message and add it to uh, to uh, JSON and that it's converted into an hash uh, into writes and then as before I did what it specified in the in the in the in the in the, in the, in the tutorial and uh, I forward the message to the tangle and uh, I will receive the uh, tail transaction hash uh, which is the uh, bundle uh, zero hash essentially let's see what a bundle is uh, and uh, a bundles are bundles mean group okay and so bundle is a group of transaction transactions that rely on each other's validity okay essentially uh, most of the transactions that you would send on into a yota are bundled together and uh, for example here we said that uh, if uh, it claims that the if a transaction deposits uh, uh, iota tokens into an address relies on another transaction that withdraw these iota tokens uh, from another transaction from another address that it means that uh, in uh, if you want to transfer iota from one guy to another and we will see them later you will have several transactions that are bund bund that are bundled together where in uh, in a first transaction we withdraw these uh, these uh, tokens from a guy and then we will um, and in another transaction we will uh, deposit these tokens to another guy okay and uh, a transaction is essentially made by is like looks like this and um, it has um, several arrows links as you can see and first we sh we define as a tail of the bundle the um the transaction with the lowest index so here we are retrieving our tail okay uh, our, our tail transaction then there are several transactions in the middle and the transaction with the highest oops uh, with the highest um, uh, index is our head both of them, mm, okay. Uh, there is there are these links. A trunk link, arrow uh, refers or oh, tran transaction as claimed here. Points for for detail points to the mm, next uh, transaction in the bundle. Okay. Why for um, mm, uh, for the. Uh, for the mm, for the head, this uh, points to uh, this trunk tip, okay, and this points to another, and uh, the branch tip always points to the trunk tip, which is an address, okay. Uh, for always points to trunk tip for our um, transactions, which are not the head, and the head points to a branch tip. Maybe we can find a, a better uh, definition of uh, of. Uh, of trunk tip and branch tip uh, the transaction of the okay I, I will look for them and I will uh, yeah, provide them to you anyway uh, notice that these are um, essentially addresses okay and all the um, transaction which are in the in the bundle uh, which are not the head points to these the same trunk tip to the same uh, uh, with the branch transaction they point to the same address uh, whereas the the head uh, with the branch uh, uh, link or pointer it points to uh, 
to a um, uh, to a different uh, address and we'll, while our trunk uh, pointers points to the next transaction except for the head that points to the trunk tip which are address essentially okay uh, so let's try our example and it works like this uh, if you uh, okay if you launch our example you will have that a client subscribed uh, successfully to MQTT then you will uh, mm, have to uh, write something with MQTT and it is received by this guy and he should uh, add it to the to the tango I hope it works I don't have a great uh, Wi-Fi connection today I don't know why yeah it's working it's a bit slow but uh, it should be faster anyway this is the um, uh, tail transaction hash uh, there so it's the hash of the tail of the bundle and uh, I then add here uh, an example how to it with this information from the bundle but we will see it in another uh, tutorial we will deep down later anyway as you Anyway, it is retrieved from the tangle, as you can see, we can try again. And uh, if I send him word, he should receive it. And we will, uh, it takes time, but it should be confirmed in some instant. In the meanwhile, in the meanwhile, wait, what it's happening. I've sent this transaction to the, to the, to a node of the network. Uh, that's it confirmed and um, this guy um, what, what's happening this guy is computing uh, uh, the proof of work for validating two tips of uh, that are randomly selected in the tangle and um, it's computing the two tips um, it's including these two tips which are transaction which are not still valid um, and it's computing the proof of work um, um, of our new transaction that points uh, that solves uh, these new these two tips okay uh, okay as you can see here I retrieved the information from the tangle and I wrote both hello and then word okay but let's see a bit better how to uh, read from from the tangle and it's quite easy it's just a function and um, once again, uh, ah, here you have to install if you haven't. Uh, no, you shouldn't have. You shouldn't have done it. But you need to install this uh, this uh, uh, this packet here. Mm, you okay? Once you install it, you require it in your new file. You connect once again not to the devnet but to the comnet. Okay. And uh, then um, you should uh, retrieve the hash that uh, you have print here, okay? And uh, we'll do it for later. And um, you should retrieve it and type in your code, how coded it. And then you call this function where essentially you call, you get this bundle and uh, once uh, it's a synchronous, so when it's uh, it's completed, it uh, returns you the triangle, and you extract the information from the triangle and uh, from yes, from the the tail of the, the 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 transaction, which is the tail of the bundle, and then you you will print print out these messages, okay, as we did before. So try to do it; it's very easy. And so let's see in a moment. Okay, this is the solution for retrieving information from the from the tangle. It's uh, very easy, so we are not going into details of it. Uh, it just um, requires you uh, to um, pass to the OHIDE to our code your your information here, or as I did, you pass your um, your um, the the tail. Uh, uh, ash of your bundle as an argument of the function then does you call it like this and it should retrieve the message that as you uh, I don't know if I can retrieve it no I can't but anyway uh, ah yes no I can't okay uh, anyway um, 
this is, was the message that uh, I sent uh, previously in the uh, before video. Now let's jump into another uh, tutorial and um, let's see how to generate a new address, uh, which is uh, maybe we should, um, which is useful for sending IOTA tokens, which is a more advanced tutorial. And uh, we will see so how to create a, uh, how to generate an address uh, within the con within the this tutorial. Okay, as I said before, the uh, purpose of IOTA it's uh, 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 it has two purposes. Okay, the first is to transfer data, and we saw how to do it. And we have whole ingredients to do it. We don't have we are missing something, but we are gonna see it how uh, it works later. And anyway, it provides you also a platform for making pi uh, payments among uh, among on the on the tangle, okay? And um, I lost the page, okay? And um, let's let's see how we, which are the ingredients for for paying uh, for making tran financial financial transaction in the on the tangle. Uh, you need to, uh, as I said, um, for generating an address, you need to create a, a seed. Okay, for creating a seed, you have here these commands uh, that are e one for each uh, platform or operating system that are using, and you 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 just need to copy it and type it into your terminal, and it should generate for you um, a seed. Okay, it doesn't. Okay, um, doesn't use a new line, but it's this one. And um, uh, okay, these are useful for generating a new address. Uh, and let's see how to do it. It's uh, easy. It's just, uh, once you may, as you can imagine, just a function that you need to call. And um, yeah, you need to uh, generate your seed like this, and um, yeah, you need to copy actually the, the the one that you have generated with your terminal and paste it and in, into your code, and then you generate your new address, calling this function, which is essentially called this function, passing it your seed and uh, a security level. Uh, that you should define usually usually you use the uh, two as a, as a as a security level for comment or you can use also more I don't know if there is something about it but um, um, and then it types you out the, it tells you how many you can tell him how many address you wants to generate we just put one and then it it gives you the, the address uh, we Let's see how to do it. It's quite quite easy, and you should copy this guy. And then call the address. Yes, I should pass anything. Okay. And this is your address. This new this new address. Uh, remember it because you will use it later. Otherwise, you can include this code di directly into your um, into your um, into your code uh, for generating um, a IOTA transfer um, transaction. Okay. Okay, once again, you only need to require the packets. You need this. This we are back to IO to how to generate a, an IOTA tran transaction. Okay, and this you uh, you 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 do all the stuff that you usually do. You remember here to put ten instead of nine. Here you pass the seed that you have just uh, generated. Okay, and the seed is used to sign the the. Uh, it's used for 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 you to sign the transaction. So remember it and don't share it. Okay. Here, this is the receiving address of your transaction, and 
you need this time to add one as um, as value and then find the receiving address of your transfer then you uh, prepare the transfer you call this function uh, that this method has the node to check that the balance of your seed address okay uh, if you add and uh, here you so you should notice that since we have just we have just generated a new seed we need to fill this seed with new balance and we will see how to do it in a short time but anyway the, the, the procedure is quite similar to the one we saw before for uh, for Agron uh, okay if your addresses have enough IOTA tokens to complete the transfer the method the method creates in an input uh, transactions okay so it will return some price that will be used for sending this transaction okay and um, that's essentially it and um, try to do it it's quite for it's not that hard maybe it's a bit more complex than that before but uh, you should have all the tools for for do it and um, remember to add here 10 and to paste it your newly generated seed ah no excuse me i forgot to tell you how to um, fill your um, your uh, your your address with new uh, uh, with a new balance, with uh, uh, with a balance, okay. So uh, you need to uh, go to your to the README. Here, there's this link. You need to uh, click on it, and you will go here. Here, you need to type your uh, um, your uh, your address. I don't know why it adds more uh more 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 stuff to your address but anyway remember to also copy it otherwise it doesn't work uh the the code and um and our generation uh, it doesn't have these 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 other characters but remember here to copy this otherwise you will have some problems in generating the transaction so remember copy it and uh, hi you had an amount of iota that you want to transfer and then click on send the transaction is being sent and now uh, you can see that uh, this is the explorer we are going to the explorer um, uh, this is uh, it's saying that I'm transferring to uh, me the I'm retrieving this information from this is the tail transaction I'm retrieving this uh, uh, this, uh, but we're going to explore it later anyway and anyway um, anyway I, I'm transferring I, I've transferred one iota to my uh, to my new address so remember to copy your um, your address here and now you should have all the ingredients for uh, doing uh, uh, this exercise here Okay, so let's, I pause the video and we'll see in a couple of minutes. Okay, welcome back. This is the um, solution for sending a transaction. I've actually um, combined together also the generation for the new address here. And uh, I show you how to also to check balance of uh, the balance of, uh, of a set of address. So, Okay, let's see how the solution works. Once again, you should require the packet and connect to the comnet. This is the seed that I have generated before with you. And this is the address uh, that I retrieve uh, from the uh, uh, faucet here that it's used for sending um, IOTA to the to the to this address okay it's a dispenser for for tokens and um, so i copy it them and then so what i what i do I, I according to the seed i generate the address which will be this one okay and uh, mm, then i uh, that i paste it here then i uh, check the balance 
of my address okay and if the balance is uh, uh, I will print message with balance and then I will call main with main essentially will uh, transfer our iota to this address and um, okay, I will log something and then I will prepare I will check that I have uh, enough uh, iota and I will send them to uh, I will send the transaction to the tangle and then I will print out the uh, the lock. Okay, so let's see how it works. And I should my file it's send iota js. Okay, and um, uh, I should should I have passed to No, I don't have to pass him nothing. So I should just. As you can see, my balance is one. So let's see how, if it works. Once again, my, my connection is not that good. That's why it takes time. Anyway, this, uh, the, the transaction uh, succeeded. And this is the um, how, how my bundle is. This is the bundle that I can retrieve from... Uh, with this command here and uh, here from response I will map it into uh, he, he, he will return a, a, an array of, of, uh, of tokens of transactions and I will print that out so this is how my bundles look like okay let's explore a bit better how he's a, a bundle a bundle and um, Okay, this is the tail, as you notice, because the current index is zero. So we are. This is the tail transaction, which are uh, which is um, deposit one um, iota token to the address, which was the receiver of my um, example. Okay. Then I have another bundle, which is withdrawing the. Um, the token, uh, which is the second transaction, uh, from my um, from my address, as you can notice, it's the same re9, re9, and then finally uh, we uh, have another transaction, which is the head, which just contains a signature. Uh, it's, it, it exists just for this reason, for cleaning the, the rest of the signature, which is very big. And that's all. This is our bundle. You can also exp see check it in the in the. Ah, as you can see, this is the. Let's explore a bit the trunk transaction and branch transaction fields. Uh, this is the hash of the bundle, which, as you may notice, is the same for each uh, transaction within the bundle. And uh, this is the hash of the next transaction next transaction and here once again this is the hash of the next transaction this helps you to um, navigate the, the, the bundle okay and uh, here you have uh, uh, a branch transaction that points for both the tail and the, the second transaction to the same hash which is uh, the tail tip okay and then finally it changes for, for the head. And the trunk transaction points to the same address as the brand transaction, the detailed transaction of the head points to the same uh, address of the uh, trunk transaction of before, okay, which is the trunk tip and this is the branch tip, okay? So this is how to send a transaction. You can also explore it in the Connect Explorer. If you want a more comfortable, maybe you can use this hash if you want a more comfortable uh, solution for exploring uh, let's see if i save it somewhere a uh, comnet comnet tangle nodes comnet the tangle network maybe this is one yeah and you, you can use this address here uh, the comnet the, dot the tangle dot org for explore your uh, for explore the tangle and if you paste this hash 
this is the hash of the bundle which is confirmed and then as you can notice we have one transaction um, you can also visualize it okay and uh, here we have our transaction that we draw from my address uh, the the iota token and then it deposit it into the new uh, um, into the, 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 the our the receiver of our of our, of our um, uh, transfer okay and this is uh, these are these are the inputs uh, because yes each um, each transaction within the bundle yeah, the, in the bundle there are some input transaction and output transactions essentially the input transaction are those ones where, where you withdraw uh, iota tokens from the um, from the uh, if you are transferring iota and in the outputs token uh, you have uh, um, you deposit them and as you can notice and uh, as, as you can notice yeah but yeah you can notice it but the rule is that um, the amount of iota tokens that are withdrawn uh, in the input transaction should be uh, the sum of them should be the same as the um, the sum of the iota tokens um, in the output transactions okay and this is the the structure of our bundle this is our uh, trunk tip where you can see it's uh, each uh, each trunk um, mm. Uh, trunk transaction field it's pointing to it's pointing to uh, except for the head which is this one and it's pointing to uh, excuse me this is the branch transaction this is the trunk transaction field for the for the trunk transaction field for the head and the branch transaction field for the other transactions that points to the trunk tip and uh, the trunk tip is this one as you can see and this is the branch tip okay the branch transaction okay Anyway, um, this was all maybe for our part in where we're exploring the... Um, we are building... Um, we, are, we are dealing with uh, with, um, uh, with uh, the IOTA tangle. Maybe there is this new... This is function that uh, I'll show you now that we can see together. And essentially, I listen for all the uh, transactions that are sent by a certain guy. Okay, so if here I specify uh, the address, this should be my address. Yes. Or, or maybe I should re uh, once again retrieve it from here because I don't know why it doesn't work. Maybe there are some problems with with the. With the generation of address, because as you can see here, it says that it's deprecated, but uh, I don't know why they, they they are using it in the tutorials, and so the address that it generates it two shots or retrieve it from the fosse and then uh, um, paste it uh, into your code or save it somewhere. Uh, thus, with this function, uh, with this example, I will show you how to. Uh, find transactions in the tangle okay and uh, let's try to do it and, and then we will jump into the code to see how it works it should be easy wait address js oh uh, yeah it generates a lot of shit and um, but yes because maybe yeah anyway these are because this is the um, signed messages that it's retrieving from the from the previous example but it, um, and maybe we can try to uh, listen another address and this is maybe this one that we have used before anyway As you can see, these uh, are the messages that we sent, sent before to the Tangle, to the Comnet Tangle, and uh, mm, we are retrieving them to the Tangle. Okay, 
and to do it you just need to okay you have create your connection here and you call this function find transaction ob objects where you pass a set of addresses an array of addresses and the the the, the return value from this function are used asynchronously later for um we saw them in order of index so we in in, in the chronologically okay and then for each transaction we uh, convert this message into um, uh, uh, from trites into ashi remember to add to your element here uh, had uh, nine which is uh, one and um, otherwise it doesn't work and so it brings you the messages which is on the tangle okay it's uh, very easy you have it in the repo and so you can reuse it if you want finally uh, we will discuss uh, other two examples one it's we are discussing um, more advanced tools for the info iota so now we have seen how to um, send data to the iota with a zero value transaction okay? so we are not transferring anything and we are seeing how to make payments uh, on IOTA but as you remember I told you at the beginning that this, uh, this, um, in, this, in IOTA we don't pay for any fee uh, I think that maybe Andrea explained to you before in a previous lecture but anyway let's pick up it a little um, you may have noticed that each time um, that we are adding a new transaction okay we are validating new transactions that is we do not require to pay a fee okay because um, everyone that takes part into the into the iota network and send transaction actually it actually validate new transact uh, the, the previously sent transaction which are tip transaction transaction does it's it it's cooperate to um for 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 increase the the, the the network okay and it does it according to a general consensus uh, proof of work algorithm uh does it um, we, we can trust that he has uh, uh, a good um, a good uh, a good uh, a good transaction okay and so um, anyway you have more details here if you don't get it correctly but it's quite easy by you you don't pay a transaction in IOTA anyway now uh, we are using another tool which is a second layer tool we will use uh, which are the masked authenticated messages messaging and um, essentially it is uh, it's not a, a stable solution but um, it provides you um, um, the way for generates a stream of messages by an iota uh, device and uh, um, i try to find something easier an image uh, okay you can generate a stream of messages by uh, one device okay that can be uh, read by anyone that has uh, the root for that stream of transaction essentially each transaction um, it's linked to another transaction okay um, and a device that starts this stream so this message authenticated uh, this um, masked authenticated messaging um, for each transaction that it adds to the chain to the tangle it generates the new it, it adds to the transaction the new root hash for the next transaction does if you read uh, the first transaction okay of if you have any hash of the transaction like here you can start reading the stream of messaging that uh, this guy that this device is sending to the to the tangle okay so uh, for recap uh, mass uh, masked authenticated messaging it's a tool for generate a stream of messages from a device or source of data um, um, 
all, everything with the uh, same uh, um, following the same um, allowing the, the user that it's seen that 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 stream to see which uh, will be the the, the the root of the next of the next uh, transaction of the next yeah of the next transaction of the next uh, um, upload of data okay to the tangle which will be uh, in order to follow the, the stream of, uh, of of information okay what's cool here it's that you can um, encrypt your data that's why it's masked okay you can publish data in a public way allows everybody that has the root hash of this um, of this stream or one of this stream as you, you can imagine um, this this stream as a, as a highway okay and once you have a root hash it's like the entrance in the highway okay of this stream of messages okay so if a guy has a, a root hash okay like here it enters to the stream and if it's public he can read heavy messages okay and you can use also another mode for uh, for writing your, your messages which is the private mode where only the um, the, the the owner of the of the um, of the stream of messages is uh, um, can can read actually the the um, the content of each packets of each packets and finally you can also use a restricted mode okay where um, you need both the root and uh, um, this is so this private mode is the second mode and just the owner can read it Finally, there is the restricted mode, which is an um, intermediate level, okay, where you encrypt your messages um, using a key, and if you share the key with someone, this will be able to um, to uh, read this data, okay. Anyway, uh, if you want to go more into details of how. Um, how mark masked authenticated messaging works yeah i suggest you to go through this blog and we can also have read of the documentation i give it my repo here okay so uh, message integrity messaging uh, is um, allows your tangle to attach zero value transaction okay and is a data communication protocol that allows you to publish encrypted data streams channels that are called channels in the into the in, in transactions on the tangle okay this is particularly useful for example if you imagine a scenario that we imagined before for algorand where we shared our um, mm, our data and, in, and we receive if we exchange this data with money okay and this is what actually uh, iota is trying to do both with uh, mask mask authenticated messaging and the data marketplace and uh, which is actually a, a platform where you can um, pay for the data uh, you 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 are accessing okay <coughs> and you essentially you do not access a, a single data but you access access a channel so a stream so a masked authenticated messaging um, channel um, uh, for using the, the data for your for what you want okay and you pay for them in this data marketplace it's still a use of con uh, so it's still a proof of concept uh, but it seems a very nice solution for the for the for the, um, for the example that we have tried to realize before with Agran. Anyway, I encourage you to go into the details if you want or to see this the, the site. It's uh, it's nice. And uh, as I said, there are two, um, three, through three ways to communicate over. Um, uh, mask identity messages messaging and um, I think that all that you need to know about them I told you before 
um, the channels are generating according to a Merkle tree, which is an in uh, authenticated data structure uh, where um, each um, where it's a tree composed by com where you you split your your messages into into chunks and for each chunks uh, you compute the hash that you mix together with the other uh, hash that you compute for diff the different uh, from the different uh, mm, mm transactions in order to create a root hash which authenticates actually a very big uh, set of information okay because if you just change a, a chunk of of this of this uh, tree it will change its hash that will change the the the, the hash of uh, of a um, greater level okay and which in, ends up to change here the 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 hash of the merkle of the root of the root of the merkle tree okay um you can go into the details also this i don't have time to show it with you anyway we um anyway we are interested in how they work now and on how they are generated okay um i i um, i prepared you an example of how you to use it and i extracted from this example here that i linked you in my um, my repo but i have had some improvements to it for our purposes and also because it's a whole uh, implementation uh, yes one year ago it may was made one year or more ago and uh, that it's not so updated and uh, we will see now how it works um i don't leave it to you to to use it because it's maybe you you can try to do it by yourself um and it's easy okay i have prepared here a solution which is based on okay we we have um mm -hmm. our index for our example the the folder example is mom example and uh, um, you need to require different stuff from the ones before okay here you have a leap of of of, of, uh, of files and that are useful for um generating uh, um either a public a private or a restricted uh, way um, channels okay mode and here once again i'm listening on mqtt okay and i use this library which i think is also included into iota core library that we have used in the previous example this one here but i'm not sure so uh, you use this one here you, you you can install it because it's included in our uh, package json so you just need to use node it's npm install and you, you will retrieve it and um, um what it does it's very easy in this file it's um, it retrieves the information from IOTA uh, from MQTT and then it calls this function whenever it retrieves something where I um, pass these messages to uh, one of the mode that I pass uh, to the um, I, I define the mode that I want to use in the arguments that I pass to the program okay the default one is the public so we will try first with the public and then we will start sending messages through to the tangle once the message is uh, uh, and we will see how this works okay we maybe let's just try to see what it generates and then we will dive into the details of the code okay uh, we this is um, example and in here I need to run index uh, if I am correctly let's see I sh this should be I don't know it's heavy yeah you should run index and not this but 
because I removed it actually and uh, because it used the loop and I didn't want to and uh, um, you should just pass the mode which is one for public, two for private and three for restricted okay and then we will see how to fetch our data but essentially uh, you, I will use first uh, public mode for generating our data now I am I have subscribed and uh, this time to the to MQTT this time I want to use my client team to um, the classic terminal by mosquito but I will use uh, a file that I've generated which is a uh, device js that simply send uh, messages in the channel with these uh, fake uh, values and to the same channel that I've subscribed okay I don't ah uh, yes I need to pass the interval in seconds that I wanted to I want to use it will start generates messages every 10 seconds it will send a message since I am I'm receiving it I, I and I sent it okay to the tangle like this so I see message and the timestamp, the data, impression, and the temperature, and assign them to the tangle. This is a stream, as you can notice. Uh, maybe we can see them in the fetch. Anyway, this is the uh, messaging tries because it's always the same. But you can see here. Yes, it is. This is the root that I was talking to you before because each transaction that it sent to the tangle is identified by this root, and if you have this root. You can fetch the data, okay? But let's see how we insert the data into the into the stream, okay? As, as a stream, this is the data public example, and uh, you essentially it's very easy. You need to connect to the IOTA using this different library, okay? And you will call this file mamno.js, which is provided by by the creators of the library. You initialize the message authenticate mess masked authenticated messaging uh, streams uh, with IOTA, and then you attach um, each packet you receive um, with this depth, and this is the uh, minimum wake magnitude. Okay, and so I keep going sending this information. Mm, this is very easy, and let's see how to fetch the data. Fetch the data, you just need to use this file which is within mom example fetch data and here you will have different uh, um, approach for reading both public and restricted and pri in private mode you have different examples and um, mm. um, now you should pass net fetch da data uh, fetch public and I should pass to him just the um, yeah the root that I want to explore that I that I want to use for reading the messages. Uh, this is the device, and uh, mm, let's retrieve the first root, and this is one. And you will see how we will be able to retrieve all the string uh, made by this. Uh, device I'm fetching the data and as you can see I'm retrieving all the information this is the first the third the fourth the fifth message and so on here I'm now I'm able to read uh, the full uh, stream of messages okay it's I think it's a very nice solution for IoT for integrating IoT and uh, as you can see when it when it's, it tells you which is the next route that you will need to uh, to, for example, to to you will need to to use for retrieving the next transaction. We can use it to see if it's if it has been publicated, publicated and it published and it, it is as also with with the eighteenth uh, messages. Okay, eighteen message. And so we have seen how to read um, a stream made by made, made publicly. Okay. Uh, yeah, sometimes it crashes. I don't know why. Maybe it's problem with the library and um, okay now let's see how to um, 
to uh, encrypt these messages okay so now it was clear now but now we need to encrypt them and to encrypt them we can both 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 we can do it privately so just me can read it or in a restricted mode and in order to do it with a restricted mode we need to pass it a key okay but this is how to fetch the data let's see first how to publish them in a restricted mode and uh, the the example is you will use as before this index js file but you will pass three as a, as, a, as an argument that we call this file okay that will change the mode as it does the same stuff until here or that we did before and but what it and it, also this part it's the same but what it change is here you change modes and you pass this and you as you can see if once you in, initialize your your masked identity messaging you pass to uh, you pass also the state okay and um, then you pass also um, now you retrieve this fun this 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 variable that you include in this into this uh, into this function okay where you pass first the state the restricted uh, then a restricted that means that you want to change to a restricted mode and then you pass the uh, the key okay and then you use and then you create a stream using the state okay and uh, um, you publish this information but now this will be encrypted so uh, let's try to do it we will uh, use the third uh, way so this is maybe now it doesn't work for um, problems related with um, with the library and now uh, let's see if it works otherwise we I try to fix them okay these are published okay now we have this route and it is encrypted okay now it does errors ah no it didn't it didn't achieve to do it so let me give let give me a minute and i will try to fix it and i will resume the the video okay